What you're looking at here is the underneath of the rear of an F-150, a 2006 Ford F-150. The uh, spare tire has been removed and uh, that's to gain access to this. This is the uh, fuel pump control module. This is causing a lot of problems on Fords right now. I've had this one partially disconnected. I've got the bolts out. Two bolts, one goes here and one goes here. These things are horribly rusted under here. If you look underneath them. This one actually has holes in it. This is from Ontario, Canada, so it's in the, uh, it's in the rust belt area. Um, if you've got a car that, uh, if you have a truck like this and it's stalling, uh, or it won't start, and mechanics diagnose a bad fuel pump, have them pull down the rear tire and look up at this cross member and take this thing off. These things are rusting like crazy. This thing should be a recall. This is the fuel pump module removed from the car. I've loosened the cap. It's not made to come apart, so uh, you have to be a bit forceful with it. You can see it's got uh, a lot of delicate electronic parts in there. This is uh, scale, corrosive scale. It's come off the back of this. That came off the back of it. You can actually see holes in the back of this thing. And uh, two bolts hold the circuit board on, and if you take it out, you can see the kind of corrosion that's in there. So that'll definitely affect your fuel pump operation. Um, here's a new one, cost about $175 from a Ford dealer in Canada. I imagine uh, you can get them quite a bit cheaper in the States. Um, you can see it's just a zinc die cast metal body and uh, dissimilar metals, same old story uh, against steel. A little salt in the back there, it's underneath the car and within a few years you've got a lot of corrosion. Uh, a lot of people are misdiagnosing this. Uh, they're putting in fuel pumps instead of checking this. So if you do suspect a your fuel pump shot on your Ford truck because it won't start, it's stalling, it's acting funny. Make sure they check this fuel pump module. Now the kit for $175 includes a, uh, a new module, but they don't want you to put it on exactly like the old one. The old one just had simply two, uh, two bolts went through and it held it right against the frame as you saw. Uh, they now give you a little kit with two studs and they want you to mount that. Now the uh, it comes with some instructions and says right here this affects the uh, what is it, the 2004-2008 uh, F-150 and 06-08 Mark LT fuel pump. And they want you to mount this now on the studs and they want you to uh, you know, coat uh, underneath it to make sure it doesn't rust. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it back on the studs the way they suggest and then I'm going to coat this stuff in the, uh, a spray undercoating like you get from Crown. I like using that stuff, it's nice and liquid, it gets through all the cracks and uh, make sure the owner keeps spraying that every year or so just to make sure this one doesn't rust out too and I think that should take care of the issue. You can see here the truck, uh, this is a Harley Davidson Special it has 175,000 kilometers so that's just a little bit over uh, uh, 100,000 miles for our American cousins. And here we are at NHTSA and uh, you won't be surprised to find that uh, under recalls, this car, this truck, the Ford F-150 2006, it has lots of recalls, as you can see, but uh, none of them to do uh, at all with uh, a fuel pump module or a fuel pump problem of any kind. And uh, if we go here to defect investigations, you'll see that uh, they have only two, and uh, one is to do with the uh, service brakes, hydraulic, and the other one is to do with airbags and that's it but uh, if you search complaints over in this area I'm sure you're gonna find plenty now what I suggest everybody do uh, I'm going to uh, try to post this information on Ray LaHood's Facebook page I suggest you do the same and uh, if you've had this repair done I would uh, contact NHTSA uh, make a complaint uh, hold on to your receipts and uh, hopefully Ford will do the right thing and it will issue a recall at least for the cars affected, the trucks and cars affected in the salt belt areas and the salt belt states and in Canada.